Hey guys, welcome back to M P Seven. This is Key here, and this is Rush the Jamaican in the building, aka Blended Dread Wagwan Wagwan. Our good people. He look like a hot mess, y'all. You see me just shake my lock sometimes. You see me Wagwan. You see me sometimes. Make a as uh, you guys. Uh, Dap it up a little, you see me? As you guys can see by the title today, we're getting back into Tokyo Revengers. <gasps> Tokyo Revengers! It's been going pretty strong so far. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Pretty hot. Um, very sad episode. Episode 4 was very sad. Um, my man, what was his name? Takamichi's, one of Takamichi's friends with the red hair. He looked like a Yakuza. Um... He told Takamichi that Draken gets killed. Um, really and that's up. the reason why Mikey went Is downhill uh -huh. from there. Um, and then he committed suicide. Yes. And that was unexpected. And then Tetsuki, if I'm saying his name right, I'm probably I'm saying his name wrong, was like hiding in the back of the shadows. Listen, probably listen to their whole conversation, to be honest with you. Like a um, creep. They are actually really, really scared of this guy, and we have to definitely see why. Why that fact? He, they scared of him. Um. So right now, Takemichi is he has a big role to play basically right now. He has to save all his friends, not only Ta Miss Tachibana, Miss I don't give two f's about no one when it comes to my man. And um, the rest of his friends, they need, they definitely need his help. Um, yeah, yeah. If they want to survive or live to so go past um <laughs> the ripe old age of twenty something, yeah. There was a, they're already in their twenties. I know, but most of them didn't they, make it to their twenties. <laughs> I'm done. Okay. You get me? You want to bring all them to their twenties? So if they all want to live into their ripe old age of twenties, then hey, they need his help. All right. So I guess this episode we're gonna see how Takemichi is going to able to save Draken from being killed. Mm -hmm. So we see from there. The leap of faith. You wrong for that. <laughs> you wrong for that. What do you say, really, bro? <laughs> It's just so catchy. Yeah. Yeah, you're fired. You haven't been to work. <laughs> <laughs> this is the first episode. Yeah, she's she don't want to hear nothing you have to say. No excuses or nothing. So you've been out for two weeks, but, I'm, but I almost died. What you want me to do? You don't care. Fired. Basically, that's what she's saying. Oh, it's been two weeks. If there's a time to stay, I'm going to live with him. You better ask to live with him. I'm going to ask to live with him. I'm going to ask to live with him. なんだ、あの、このさい。この<笑> ちゅうはダメだよ。ノーセンス。何これ展開。ちゅうはダメ。いや。どんなめ。ちゅうはダメ。いや。どんなめ。ちゅうはダメ。いや。どんなめ。ちゅうはダメ。いや。どんなめ
Listen, you're not touchy bana. I'm um, uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> it's weird that she just shows up. Mm -hmm. Don't say nothing, bro. What are you talking about? ひな、ちょっとドラキンくんに呼び出されちゃって。じゃあ、ちょっと行く。マジで。竹道くんのお友達でしょ。<laughs> He scared himself. <laughs><笑> Shorty, I knew it. <laughs> I knew it. Mm -hmm. The way they just focused on on them for me, I'm like, wait, it's her. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that he just went to the, to the mm -hmm. karaoke bar to it. Look what's his name? What's name is gonna beat you up, bro? She gonna kill him. Pussy <gasps> we'll boy. え、もっと知り合いなの。知らない。<笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑> Enjoy your youth, man. <laughs> I know, but that's what he's thinking. He's thinking that though, yeah. Meaning. Okay, Mikey. Bare chest. Like Weapons how, around my waist. Like how I live. Like how I live. <laughs> like how I live. <laughs> Double take, caught next week. Really? I thought it was higher than that he was walking. Mikey-kun I can't! For someone who stares, who looks at me like this, you, like, your neck like, is okay? Like, what, what was your problem, big bro? Like, why are you keeping my back for? Like, who are you? But alright. Let's see what his parents and his siblings later? Really? No, no, that's a gang what? gang. That's a gang gang. They did what? That's a gang gang. Rush, that is a gang gang. Delinquents. They Murder. beat him up badly, beat her up and rape her badly. 
and then went after his siblings and his parents. Are you serious? That's some crazy. That's that's some messed up bullshit, though. But all right. Mebius is a so-yu team, man. Da yo, we're the two of them. They grown folks, then. Kokoro is a team, man. Toman, jo. Toman is Shibuya. Shinjuku is Bets. So we, we are still a new team, da. Oh yeah, no, no. Sucka. In this time, there was a bigger team than Toman. Let's go! So again, why what a meeting. What a did meeting. they? But why did they really call Wasadim and bring him there anyway? I guess he wanted like his word from physically from his mouth to say, "Do you want us all?" To like you know have a brawl with Mobius. no no I understand that but I'm saying what is his what is what's the name point his why bringing him there I yes. guess he's a member now he's, yeah I guess so he's a member but I guess he's gonna go brawl too they gotta give him the full suit mm hmm all right but he has to be there on August third because that's when Dragon dies so mm -hmm. he gotta save Dragon and everything. mm hmm <laughs> No. <laughs> I know who's gonna say no. I don't need one. I'm good, bruh. Skibitoba. <laughs> You don't think he's gonna know you're there? Much. It wasn't that much, but it gave you an explanation of why Mikey fell fell from grace. You might yeah. say fell from grace, you might as well say, right? Yeah. And Dragon, like we said before in the last episode, Dragon is Mikey's Keith. Mikey's heart, his king. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like that's the guy that keeps him leveled. Level headed. Yeah, Because if if Dragon wasn't there in that during that situation, he would definitely beat up the father right yeah. in that hospital yeah and again they but again they didn't do anything but they have to understand the pain that the family is dealing with even although you didn't do anything but you have to remember that you're still in a gang a delinquent gang too so he's just he's just putting he out his his, his anger and his frustration out on you you understand even though you came to peer to pay, pay your respect. respect you know which which we honor you for that you understand he's a man i appreciate that but he had to let he had to let that he had to vent the, the father had to vent which 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 he did you know and i respect draken for what he did for that to let the father just vent and let, let him let him get it out of his system you see me yeah you're right about that most definitely um wasn't there much to talk about no, there was it comedy in the middle in the beginning of it and then you know seriousness middle and, and, and not much to really go on 
um i believe next episode we definitely get into probably the fight we'll see definitely the fight in yes the next episode, or hopefully. even how or even how or why the two of them supposed to separate and got mad at each other or something like that you want to hear my theory go ahead what's your theory my theory is that when he got stabbed and everything that people who who was more loyal to draken than to mikey caused the conflict could be could be or it could be something else totally all different too it could have been something a t- but, totally different you, you might be right about that but it could have been some type of of argument or and conflict an that they didn't flick, see, that they didn't see eye to eye on could, but but you see that I think that even although um, the, Mikey is so rough and tough, he, Draken calms him down. So I, I don't think I don't really I don't really see the internal rift between the two of them because they kind of do play hand in hand. You understand? Because they're not, they're not a they're not it's not a a fearful relationship they have. It's more of a um, how do you say? Um, it's it's a more symbi- symbiotic relationship to me. Okay, that is true. You know, it's not it's not that Draken is fearful of Mikey or Mikey is fearful of um um Draken. You understand? They they both complement each other and they try to, I guess, um I guess um f- uh, make up for each other f- down f- each other fall. I would say, you know. That's true. Um, even though Mikey's pretty much a kid on his non, but they're no, both leader, kids. Leader, leader days. Yes, yes, but they, but still, but they're both kids. You know what I mean? But well, Jack is much older than him. Yeah, but they're still both kids. In, you know, not that much older, but they're still both kids. You know, they're trying to fend for themselves in the, in this hard, the concrete world. I'm know about their zimmy. When I and I up on the Ghana, up on the Gaza, it's zimmy man. Jeez, we know the conflict role is zimmy. Yeah, it's Zimmy. Okay. Me know, man. Do you have anything else to say about this episode? No, man. We are there, man. From the Ghana. But we're gone out. It's Zimmy. If you like this video, please give it a <laughs> thumbs up. And if you like the content that we put on this channel, please subscribe down below. Yes, and please hit that notification bell so you can stay up to date with our latest and greatest video, guys. you yeah, Zimmy. Most definitely, please remember to tell a friend. To make a friend. To keep a friend. So, so we, we all, all can, can be, be friends. friends. you yeah, Zimmy. Zimmy. Ah, big up the Real Entertainment. Big up the Fire Furnace. Big up the Prior Range. Big up the Lumber. you yeah, Zimmy. Mira, new tune from the Wall on the Dogs. And it hot a road. We can't wait for it drop. Waiting for that video though, you see me? And also big up to Key right here, my partner in crime, who's always, who's always and always holding us down, you see me? Most definitely. And big up to all of our fans and all of our viewers out there, you see me? Please stay level on the gravel, you see me? Most definitely. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Blandy trade out. <laughs>